Hello sexy, I've got some sad news for you. This is gonna be the last monthly scrapbook. I'm only joking, it's April the 1st, April Fools, I got you April Fools. Um, anyway, enough of this tomfoolery. This is April. In April. Oh yes, I'm in Jake Gowen's video for it's the first Lauren. time. Look at here Lauren here. Hello everyone, his oh. massive audience. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren's just saying hi to the massive audience. The, the true, the people that have been there from day one yeah. till now. Hello to you all, he loves you all as well. <laughs> What, what, what are your fans called? Like your Grahams? My Grahams? My your golden Grahams. Grahams. Your my golden Grahams. Grahams. Yeah, that's right. We're getting in a taxi. Lauren, finish your cigarette, will I you? I can't really do it quickly. It's really disgraceful that you're having a cigarette. I can't believe it. Let's get in. Right, honestly, I don't know where I am. I need the toilet really badly. And I'm just stuck in this room in the Groucho. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. What's in here? That door doesn't open, that door doesn't open. We'll stop. I'm scared of being thrown out for being working class scum. Don't know what I'm doing. Honestly. Go down here. Right, I'm going in the woman's toilets. I'm gonna go in the woman's toilets because there's no other option for me. I'm afraid. I'm afraid there's no other option. I've got to, I've got to. Lauren, we're in the ground. We're, no, I'm gonna hold it because you're. You hold it, Lauren. You hold, no, keep it that way. That's good. Fine. We're, uh, we're in the ground show. Jake went. Where we belong. <laughs> I wouldn't say we belong as such. It's more um, me and Jake sat by ourselves whilst everyone else. I believe the term is like mingle, then mingling. We've mingled our way into the grout show. Is that what's happened? Like, what's happened? What's, it? what's this? I thought it was a film. This is a romantic part. <laughs> I'm looking forward to Lauren going to the toilet because I want her to get. She won't get as lost because she'll find the female toilets, which is where she's supposed to be. I found the female toilets. It's not where I was supposed to be, but I went in anyway. He, he put on a female voice. I did put in a female voice. And that was part... I was recording at the time. <laughs> so that's... That's... that's so on. you will have already seen. You know what you've seen part that. Of the video. You've seen my female voice. I was yet to find out, unfortunately. I can't remember what I said, but it's really awful. It's really fucking awful. I don't know where I am. I'm, I'm so unsure. I got on a bus. And it stopped. Stopped. The bus has stopped. And I'm here. Does anyone recognise? I think I'm near like Hampstead Heath. Yeah, I am. This is the. Okay. Yeah, I know where I am. Alright. I'm pretty far away <laughs> from where I live. Hampstead Heath is here, isn't it? I know. I fucking know. Don't try and fuck with me. <laughs> I know where I am. This is the Hampstead Heath bit. Yeah, this is like, this is where they try and trick you. Here, back here, like all the bus stops. But this way, if you carry on that way, this way, back where I'm pointing, that's just Hampstead. That's just Hampstead and the Heath. And like all the men bumming, bumming in the, in the, in the, in the bushes. You know what they're like? The men bumming in the bushes. They're up here, they're this way, this way that I'm walking. Good morning! I'm on my way to Downing Street to do some protesting. Lovely Prime Minister David Cameron um, has finally admitted to benefiting from 
offshore tax haven based funds even though we expect it from them because they're the Tories and that's what you expect that's even worse you shouldn't expect the leader of your country to be involved in anything like that if Jeremy Corbyn was in charge that wouldn't be happening and that's the thing it's sort of like everyone sort of gets in the mindset of oh they're all the same no Jeremy Corbyn isn't like that that wouldn't have happened at the end of the day no matter how long ago it was and no matter how much money it was it can't be accepted it can't be it's just so hypocritical and so wrong and whether it was him or his dad who had the shares he profited from them and he lied for days about the fact that he profited from them like Tories do they lie they cheat and all the while they fuck the poor just as much as they fuck pigs <laughs> Every fire in the world started from one spark. Take the fire in all our hearts, we will be more than they can handle. Take my hand in here tonight, and we will light up all the dark. I don't really know what's happening, but I'm trying to watch the Grand National. Don't know, don't know. I've put some bets on, hoping to win something. I think I want Bywise to win. Is he still on? I don't know if he's still on. I didn't win. That's all I've turned the camera back on to say. I was going to film the end of the race but because none of my horses were even anywhere near the end of the race, <laughs> I didn't even think to pick up the camera. The Grand National is over, and I haven't won any money. I've simply lost some. Doch können wir sie dann 
für immer und immer. Und wir sind dann Heaven für einen Tag. This is Rob's bed. This is my bedroom, thank Rob, you. No, this is a shared room. Bed. <laughs> I love your sofa bed. <laughs> this is mine and Kath's room in here. It's bedtime for Kath. How do you like your jar of pebbles? I like it very much. It reminds me of the seaside. <laughs> I like the view of the bikes in the bins. The kitchen. Rob's domain. Rob's uh, <laughs> gonna make our signature dish. <laughs> and signature dish number two. <laughs> it's a mess. Fixed now, Rob, is it? Yeah, so when I get to bed again now, it'll be absolutely fine. <laughs> we just want to. Okay, we'll do another How test. Do you think get on, on you get, Rob. How do you think it's safe it's like this? <laughs> oh, it's fine! <laughs> Rob, when are you making signature dish? Oh, I'm not! <laughs> Rob, when are you getting me some breakfast? If you go out and get all of the ingredients, I'll do it. Get your fucking finger out of that hole. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Welcome in. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Kath thinks that we're just going to the supermarket then going home. Without or a help. For a nap. <laughs> no, without Kath's mistaken. <laughs> Kath is very much mistaken. Uh, where are we going? I don't know. Checkpoint Charlie? Oh yeah. What's that Jake? Something to do with the Berlin Wall, Kath told me. What's the Berlin Wall? That used to divide Germany into two sides, Rob. 
Hasselhoff. David Hasselhoff knocked it down all on his own. David Hasselhoff. Was he, David was, Hasselhoff? he was there. Not well, really. I mean, a lot of people were there. Like, no. <laughs> <sighs> but were they as good as David Hasselhoff? Very, very cold and very. It is cold. Which is great because it gives me a chance to wear this hat and not bother with doing anything to my hair. So that's great news. <laughs> Jake, where are we going? Do you know where we're going? Because I don't. I don't know, but look. Hashtag couple of cuties. Couple of cuties. Hashtag couple of cuties. Oh. So Kaf's asked me to film this. I'd like to know what it is, Kaf. I don't know. Oh. Um, Rob, what is it? I'm pretty sure it's Hitler's summer house. Hitler's summer house. Hitler's summer house. Kaf, that is offensive. Darling, how's your German beer? Danger. <laughs> I've got this. Faggot. <laughs> because I, I don't like beer. Here she is. <laughs> How is it, Zach? Darling, do you know You're a beer connoisseur. It's it's amazing. I, I love so it. Removed. Is it actually? <laughs> actually. Except for all the walking and the Absolutely. same no, no. streets. Cafe, you've had some no, now? Yeah. yeah. It tastes like beer, to be honest. I thought it might. <laughs> I don't know if anyone's aware, but I love a water feature. <laughs> yes, I think it is. <laughs> Sorry. It's very difficult for a lady. <laughs> so, who is it difficult for then? Kathy? <laughs> No, I mean me as well. <laughs> Maybe me as well. And darling as well. <laughs> Did you get that she's not a lady joke? <laughs> I, can't, I can't believe this. <laughs> she's absolutely she's absolutely limited. <laughs> no, two cents. Have you got a two cent? I haven't got a two cent. No, I've got 20. Right. Oh. Oh, he's got cents here. Three. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, yeah. oh, Even if it's not free, they'll have it. Did I catch you there, darling? Where? Your mouth seems to be full of snacks <laughs> from my side of the bed here. Excuse me, my darling. <laughs> she can't comment quite right, can't quite right now. Ah. Huh? <laughs> Rob's sitting with the bear. <laughs> Rob, why haven't you got a euro? Why? You've really upset the bear! Another somber trip. Why is this somber? Oh, we People died. Oh, well, Berlin Wall. Not, not nice, is it? Mm, not as. Oh, you like it? Less sad than the Holocaust. I'm with my car at the corner of Bernauer Straße and Gartenstraße, having driven along Bernauer Straße. Wow. The same <laughs> site at the sector border. Right. <laughs> oh. What was the difference between East and West? East was controlled by the Soviets. Oh dear. God. He's listening to the mayor's speech. <laughs> and West? I'm listening. Americans. Ah. What's the difference? And why? How long for? Ages. <laughs> it was ages. We're just hanging out in the otter bed. Everyone else has been doing chores. <laughs> I've been in bed since we got back. I've just been here, just eating sweets. I've done the washing up, Rob's cooked. Holly made us tea. Oh yeah, <laughs> we made us tea. What did we do? We've just stayed here, really. It's been nice. Rob's made us signature dish number two. Look at it, signature dish number two, signature dish number two. It's here, everyone. Hi. Kathy, get out of bed. His signature dish number two is on the table now. Greasy shit on the table. Ooh, clean that up. Mother won't be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's here, look. Hello, Tom. Hey. Are you okay? I'm good. I'm good. Tom lives in Berlin. He's in not just here for no reason. <laughs> How do you think about um, Berlin? Um, I think it's. <laughs> I think it's very lovely. Well, I like that. I like that it's. Crazy to um, steal transport. <laughs> Stealing transport. You mean the city is very relaxed? Huge I like that there's less people. Less people. Because there are like in general compared to the, the equivalent of the whole of Scotland and Wales all in London. That is too many people. Yeah. And I don't like female. Have you met all of the people in Scotland and Wales? 
No, which means I am wrong. You're wrong. According to Rob's weird logic when he's drunk. But I think the worst part of the trip is the sewage smells. That just yes. Yeah. 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 Really? It's awesome. like Asia sewer smells. Sewage? <laughs> so yeah. stinky. Yeah. Because there's a lot of drains that you walk past that got like little holes in them, and then when, I think it's when you walk over them. It's the same in France though. Me and Kath are at the cinema. We're going to see our favourite film, Louder Than Bombs, our favourite film. Yeah. Louder Than Bombs. We love Absolutely it. Absolutely favourite. I've it been... Um, it's about a fractious family. Uh, dad and two sons who are discussing the death of their wife and mother, actually. I've been waiting for it ever since the concept was thought of. And we're finally getting to see it. Thank it stars I'm Jesse Eisenberg. We're early because we always make sure we're early for films we want to see, particularly when they're our favourite films, called yeah. Louder Than Bombs. No, we're joking. We came to see Kaf's favourite film, Eye in the Sky, with Helen Mirren. We were very late. 40 minutes record. We went to Nando's. <laughs> it was a mistake. And um, now we are going to see Louder Than Bombs, our favourite film. So it's a bit of a stroke of luck, really, isn't it, Kaf? We've finished our film, our favourite... Finally, after oh years of waiting, God. we've seen Louder Than Bombs, our favourite film, Louder Than Bombs. Best film ever. Um, At one point, I did think, like, how is this going to end? Like, their problems can't be solved, you know? <laughs> <laughs> it was basically just, is what I said. It was what I said. And uh, Jesse Eisenberg was there, looking... He looked as, attractive. As usual, he looked attractive half of the time and unattractive the other half of the time. That's his thing, though, I Do think. Do you like him because he looked a bit like a child? Yes. Doesn't really age. No, he's all he? pretty, he's a pretty boy. I liked Comrade the most, he was the best character. He was, <laughs> he was like 12. His, no, I don't fancy him. <laughs> uh, he's he, a nice curly hair. He was not 12, he was, I think he was 15, but um, he was the yeah. best part. I enjoyed that it had. In fact, I'm going to go as far to say as his storyline was the only good part. Look, guys. Woohoo! Oh. Business. I love to be in the centre of business. <laughs> <laughs> it's where I belong. It's pretty though, isn't it? it is nice. Who knew business could be so pretty? I didn't film before because I was busy drinking Prosecco. <laughs> Sally's just taking a picture of the river. It's fair enough, it's beautiful really. Um, we've just been to see John Robbins. <laughs> And Sally missed the end because she needed to um, excrete urine from her vagina. <laughs> it's not where it comes from. <laughs> well, it's all the same. <laughs> Let's be honest. Uh, did you enjoy John Robbins? Yep. <laughs> this area was really quiet before, and now there's loads of people here. Now I feel really self conscious because I'm sitting on a log talking to a camera like people don't do. <laughs> So that was April. Hello. You join me in the in the nature, in the wilderness. I thought I'd go somewhere different. I'm usually in sort of some sort of uh, dark, darkened room. Um, and I thought spring's here. Let's do it in the nature with the fucking birds. Even though we're in a different setting, we've still got the music. Still got the thoughtful, reflective music. Can't get rid of that. How was April? I really loved it. You know. When I looked back at the first three months, there was always something negative to draw on um, and always a thing like did I love that month no I didn't for this reason April is the first one where I feel I feel like it was a good month I feel like I had a really fun time um, I feel like I did a lot of fun stuff work was great I'm really enjoying work I'm enjoying what I'm working on I'm enjoying the people I'm working with so that really helps um, I feel happy in my private life I feel I just feel happy I just feel like life's going well and even though April um, again I had barely any money um, it was really not great money wise it really didn't matter it made no difference um, I still had a really great month I really enjoyed myself and um, yeah April was great so let's hope for May to be just as fantastic so yeah I've really enjoyed April I'm really enjoying this project this project's going really well I'm really enjoying doing it um, I do want to get better at it every single month I want to try and make it better and I know there were some things this month that I didn't film and I need to get over that initial feeling of not wanting to film and need to start doing it more um, but thank you very much for watching anyway and I shall see you next month <laughs>